So do you remember when we were talking about how um, like a million people had jumped ship from Netflix because Netflix had announced that they were going to make you pay if someone else is using your login, right? That's someone else. You can't do it anymore. And people were pissed. And even before then, Netflix had lost a lot of subscribers. And I think it's because we have Disney coming around, right. Paramount Plus. I mean, everyone's coming to the party. So in any case, we now know how this all fared for Netflix. Okay, so the doomsday is not quite as bad as as as, as we thought. In fact, they made out pretty good. Netflix um, did experience a significant surcharge of all the new people who then did sign up and did get accounts. So I think the amount was $5.9 yep. million dollars in additional revenue. No, no, no for 5.9 million new users signing up. Uh, that's right. I go, and then it was $1.6 billion was estimated, but they actually generated 1.8 billion. That's yeah. right. That's right. What am I talking about? 5.9 million. That's like chump change. That's like a day so, rate for Netflix. <laughs> so like, it's just crazy because, you know, the internet was a fluster. Everybody was ready to jump shit from Netflix. This is going to be the end of Netflix. And they're actually leading the streaming wars. Like they're the only right. ones that made a profit. Whereas, you know, uh, uh, was it Disney, Paramount, uh, Warner Brothers, everybody else was having a hard time making money and turning profits. But, you know, uh, Netflix did just fine um, and they were they were up. They had very low uh, drop offs is what they were uh, than what they kind of thought maybe was going to happen. Right. And, and so they implemented it worldwide. So now it's it's gone and then they changed their payment. Tier. Yeah, because I mean, before they make any kind of decision, right, they're sitting with the board and they're sitting yeah. with the shareholders and all the people who own the company. They go, guys, look, we're going to make the switch. There's going to be a little bit of an ouchie that we're expecting because some people will be pissed and yeah. they will leave. But in the long term, we're betting we're going to make more money. And in at least as of now, that turned out to be the case they're not going nowhere like i i, I kind of knew it too no one's no one's going anywhere what are you what are you gonna do you got shows you want to watch you know you're gonna come back for the stranger things you're gonna be like oh I'll just come back for a month it's like stop yeah exactly Eric, I, st I stayed with netflix they're yeah, like a toxic yeah. ex yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're, you're gonna stay they're gonna have shows i mean we're we're still watching reruns in in, in netflix and stuff all the time what are we going through like Breaking Bad again, and, mm -hmm. and Seinfeld's always in there. Well, stop kidding yourselves. We 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 need to pay our fair share. It's it's no surprise. Like the only people that left were the freeloaders <laughs> that weren't paying anyway. So it didn't really <laughs> all they could do was go up. So I went I went through this business book recently, and one of the uh, I guess examples that the author was using was incremental changes that businesses will use, right? And they they have they can be very, very small and they can make things better and better and better or they can make things worse and worse and worse. And he uses this candy company as the example. So there was like this candy company that was like a chocolate kind of thing and they were number one for like chocolate candy at the time. And a new CEO came in, this young kind of, you know, we're going to make money guy and was to try to turn things around because business had stagnated. And so he comes in and he goes, all right, this is what we're going to do. The ingredient list is like, you know, 60 different ingredients. Yep. And so we're going to take out, if we take out just one ingredient, we're going to save X, Y, and Z amount of money. It's a lot of money. And initially everyone else who was working there was like, oh, F no, we're not doing that. You know, this right. is the perfect formula, all the things. And so then what he said is he goes, well, we'll do, we'll do some tests. And so we'll do tests with like, you know, different people who like the product. And if they can taste the difference, we won't do it. But if they can't taste the difference, then you're all going to get a bonus and we're going to implement it. So they ended up doing it. Tests went well. No one could taste the difference. And of course, all the staff got a big bonus. They made the change and they're, you know, and then they ended up saving a ton of money. So it resulted in a ton of profit. So then over the course of the following, you know, whatever, a year, two years, he kept doing this and he ended up taking out like 16 different ingredients, which meant yeah. they saved a ton of money. Right. And each time they tested it beforehand, make sure, can you taste any difference? No, 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 no. So anyway, so many years later, guess what? The product just tanked. People stopped buying it. People stopped all that. And they didn't know why. And so they're like blaming the marketing department. You, you're right. screwing our business right. over. What are you doing wrong? And I guess one day he was sitting in his office and he's sitting there like eating the candy. He's like, this candy is the best. It's like the best candy on the market. 
And he realized he was eating one of the old bags. And so he got the new bag and he ate it. And he's like, it tasted nothing like right. the original. And the issue with their testing was that they kept comparing it to the last version. Right. So anyway, so with these incremental little things, so with Netflix, we now see, you know, they they made this switch. Is it just like temporary profits because you just got all the other people to sign up? Is it really going to have long term sustained profits? Who knows? But um, I thought that was an I like interesting it. thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think it's I think it's uh, that's interesting. I always hear those. I think there was like an urban. I don't know if it's true or not. So that's why I don't want to say it. it's facts. I'm just trying to remember something that I remember hearing a lot. But like McDonald's, like fast food, you see that a lot where they kind of take out an ingredient just to kind of save some money or like, you know, something once got had, you know, two pieces of cheese and then they quietly removed a piece of cheese and saved like billions and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But then it's just you're remembering stuff is just not being as good. But I think in this case with Netflix, uh, I think they did the right move because they didn't lose anybody. Like even the people that dropped off and left Netflix, it wasn't, I can't imagine it was the people that actually had, it was just the freeloaders, the people that had the account that the freeloaders were freeloading off of, <laughs> they're still going to pay right. for their Netflix. They're already paying for it. Why are they going to cancel their Netflix? Because their friend down the street's not going to get a free account anymore. They're just gonna be like, sorry, bro, you don't get it free anymore. I don't know what to tell you. You have to get a Netflix account. So only where they could go was up. I think it was a smart business move. Should have been done a long time ago. We got to stop expecting everything for free. What do you think? Very good.